Hi guys! So this is our podcast and we are Angelo! Angelo? This is Dubai. Roberto. And together, together we, we can, can make things happen. happen. So today we'll be talking about a very relevant topic for all of you, especially because it's almost February 14th, where we'll be celebrating Valentine's Day. Yes. It is really almost Valentine's Day. And let me ask you, which do you prefer, love or time? Personally, I prefer time. How about you, Divine? I prefer love. How about you? I prefer love also. So both of them prefer love. And it's only me loving time. Yes. Uh, the first question that actually comes to my mind when we talk about this is that why would you uh, give someone your time if you don't love them? Like, what's the sense of having lots of time if you don't even have feelings for someone, but still you choose to stay? So, like, why? Why do you choose time? I chose time personally because even if you have all the love in the world, but still you don't ha- you don't even spare a little bit of your time with that person. If it doesn't matter if it's one person, it could be consisted of a bunch of friends you have or even your family. Even if you you feel a lot of love for them, but you still don't have a lot of time. So how could you express your love for them if you don't have time, right? So basically, time really is essential in a relationship, in, in a person's life. Yeah. How about you, Sir D? And but I prefer love because how can you love someone if you have no time and uh, have your full efforts and and express your love truly and to fake relationships like that something that would not break your relationship with with each other. Yeah. So if that's the point, then any of those will not even occur if the time you spend with each other is not re- is not even you know evident if you keep on showing him or her that hey i love you hey i love you that i can be that i can be those i can prove to you this and that but you still don't have the time to prove those things that you promised to her, him or her then all of those doesn't make sense it's like telling a person um to eat candy but you don't have candy it's useless it doesn't have sense it doesn't make sense and most of all you didn't prove anything if you don't have time to prove those right so yes, but actually um why would you even spare time for someone you don't even love like uh, why would you waste your time why would you place your time on someone that's not even important to you so you don't love him or her but then why would you spend time what's the importance what's the sense of having so much time but having no love for someone okay so let's disregard the fact that February 14 is coming let's disregard the fact that we are talking about time and love referring to the people we love or friends so I would spend a lot of time to people um, just to know them just to be just to be you know in like in the person they're in to socially interact to to be in their place to know their personality backgrounds to know to know them it doesn't really have to be to be you know doesn't really have to have love in that kind of relationship so, just, you just need to, you know, like, be in a place with them, talk, chit-chat, and spare some time if you have. I think uh, you need more love and time doesn't matter because how will you, uh, you have more yes, time with a person you love, but you don't have a love to show, and it's useless. You are spending a time together, but you don't love each other. It's, it's so yeah, like what's like? Uh, I don't think it actually makes sense if you don't love someone but you spare time for them just to uh, what like uh, sp- and spend your extra time. And could you like actually give your opinions, more opinions, or elaborate further? Yeah, just like I said, even if I point, even if I do, and I don't point out that we are referring to one person, if that person is the other half of a certain person we're talking to it doesn't matter if you truly love that person it doesn't matter to what extent you love that person it doesn't matter 
what you do for the person you love but if you don't even have time like you just keep on saying you love him or her but you don't have the time to prove it like there's no there's no meat in the food that you're giving right like you're spitting out words you don't even have the time to prove it so what's the sense in telling that telling that person you love him or her if you don't have the time to prove just what you said like it doesn't make sense like yeah so for me um you still need a lot of time to you know still need a lot, a lot of time to build the relationship um even though it is possible to build a relationship without love but still you can you know build rapport at heart you can build um acquaintances with a little bit of time you gave to that person to those people rather but for me uh, even though you are not together for a long period of time or even, even a year a month or uh, a decade there it is kanang you have still love for each other so um, yeah, I actually agree. You actually have a point there, but I think it's actually more important to have love because um, if you just have time, for example, you have time for your mother. For example, we have our mother here. Uh, if you have time for your mother, but then uh, you don't feel any love, or you have time for your friend, but then you don't love him. So like, what? You're just gonna sit down there and chit chat about something you don't, you both don't, you both can't relate because. You know, there's no love, there's no uh, uh, intimate relationship between you two. So I think it's also important to consider having love between uh, uh, with other people or loving other people because I think that uh, love is actually very important because we humans are social beings. So we are born to interact. It is in our system to interact. And I think uh, loving promotes peace and peace is what will give us unity in uh, in our world today especially now that we have lots of uh, we are in chaos we have wars we have uh, uh, devastations in our entire nation and in the whole world so I think uh, it's important also to consider having love for people because I don't think having the time there and just sitting down because you have all the time but you, you don't feel anything I don't think that's uh, something to be um, what do you call that? Uh, something you would love to ponder upon. So, specifically, we're not talking about um, like the other half type of love, right? Mm, yes. Because if you're only talking about the, the, that type of love, then truly time would lose because th- those things would, you know, it's inevitable. Relationships like that doesn't um, build without love. So if you're talking about um, like friendly love here, um, there are some types of um, friends or circle of friends, or it may don't even count as friends, but there are some acquaintances that doesn't really require love. Like here in the Philippines, we call the other uh, those type of acquaintances barcadas. We we chat, we chit chat, we spend a lot of time each, with each other. We do things that we 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 both or all of us like. Then it didn't it didn't really occur to me that you still need you still need love to be to be able to be happy with them. You just need a lot of time, you know, to like like comfort each other with things and that. You do. But but uh, actually, I have a question for that. Why would you? Uh, you said a while ago that you don't need love to be happy, but just time to be together with them, right? So why would you be happy if you don't love them? Like, why would you be happy if you don't even care? You're just there to chat with them, but you don't even uh, like have have feelings, have the passion to talk with them because you don't love them, you don't care about anything. So like, how would you be happy with that if you have like right now we're just sitting down and we don't uh, feel anything for this topic? So what would we have to talk about? Right, so I think we need love to interact with other people. We need love to be happy because if you don't care about anything, then you won't be happy. You won't be caring about happiness. You won't be caring about joy. So. That's but for me, I don't really care about how much time you spend to each other. But as long as you have the time and cooperation, do you call it love when you spend time to each other? You can, you can love exists anywhere. It can be found in the any part of the world, and you can express it through video calls, video chats with your loved ones and you don't need time or mm, you don't need it at yes. all or if- But actually why should they go together? I, I think they should go together but 
um, if given the choice, I think it's also really important to have love in your heart because uh, to connect with other people. Uh, actually, Theodore Roosevelt once said that um, mm, yes, relationships are the single ingredient that could lead you to success. I don't know if that's the right word, non verbatim, but that's the thought. So I think uh, building relationships means uh, having love within you. I think uh, to be successful and to be someone tru- that's truly happy, it's very important to care for other people. And you don't, you can't care for others if you don't have love, right? So yeah, I, I, I honestly uh, like agree with you. Mm. Like so, for the side of the time, so I'm just gonna say in behalf of time. Even though there's already a big portion of me um, agreeing to the part of love because. All of what they said is really true, and I'm really losing now. But <laughs> as for the side of time, like, okay, like as humans as we are, we need to interact. Like even if let's say I'm a weird person, mm. I, I I am weird, but I am the the good type of weird. Like wow. everybody loves me <laughs> because I spent all that time. Everybody loves me. My friends love me. Like so, I don't think that <laughs> I can <laughs> win anymore because <laughs> I'm already spilling out their side so yeah i guess yeah love conquers all the time is also very important because uh yeah one time you said that what is love if you don't have time what is love if you don't have uh the right time or the spare time to spend it with someone what is what is the meaning of love in your heart what is the value of love if you don't have someone to spend it with if you don't have enough uh span of time and enough Span of th- that's what I've said. Span of time to uh, spread spread it to other people and share the essence of love, right? Yeah. So I think time is actually also important, but love is also important. Right. I think they should go together. Why can't they go together? Yeah. Yes, but but for me, as long as the love is there, I don't care about the time that you spend together, but the moments that you shared and the feelings that you cherish that it will be last forever. Okay, so I think 30 is really emotional right now. So, uh, yeah. Really so, so I I can assume that all of all the three of us agree on the point that time and love has to go together, yes. right? Yes. So, I think the title of this podcast should not be love or time. It should be love, love and, and time. time. Oh my yes. god, we we just said it right now like it was impromptu, guys. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> so Yeah, so uh this do you have uh, instances where you, uh, because we have this topic, right? So did you have instances in your life where you chose, where you were to choose between time and love? Like, because you have this topic, maybe you had inspiration or something. So you're asking me if you, ha- if I had, yes. if, if I was given the chance to choose between love you know, and time. Like, if you were, did you have any instances in your life where you were to choose between love and time? Because, you know, this is our topic, so maybe we had inspiration from where we got this topic from, right? So, do you have any instances or just it just came to your mind like, oh my god, this is a good topic? Actually, I did. I was in grade 8 like then, but I had a best friend like... His name was Murthan, and he was a debate. He was he was the type of friend that would debate on almost everything that he would we would see. Like he would even debate in our skins because he was black and I was white. Wow. And but we were we were best friends. We were like in young. We, we even got to the point when we we did ask ask teachers. We even asked the principal. And when the principal told us that love conquered all, like I was really overwhelmed because I was. I was the side of love back then. He was sign of time, and when the principal told us that love um, conquers all, like I really felt that I won, and like you know, the principal is a high thingy like that. So I really felt that. So maybe that's why I thought that maybe we should like bring that up again. So I guess basically um, all of us think that time should go with love because love can't you know exist without time, and time really wouldn't. Uh, at some point exists without love, love. so yeah, they, they're very important actually yeah, right very so, uh, yes well, yes like for me uh like i what i've said earlier like, as long as we have love to each other uh, i don't care how much time you spend i have something over. for uh, yes <laughs> i have something for all of you to ponder upon uh is that never forget to have time when you love someone because 
if you don't have time, then you won't be able to show your love. But if you have time, but you don't love someone, then you'll never be able to find what happiness is. You'll never be able to figure out the true beauty of joy and happiness, right? So, yes. Mm, uh, talking about love, I think it's logical because... Um, of course, uh, love is not only limited to having relationships, but I think it also applies to having family, friendships, okay. right? So I have lots of friends also and I have family that supports me. So I think I don't need that much of a relationship to know the true meaning of love because love is caring, love is sharing. You can see it everywhere in the canteen, in your school, in your teachers, <laughs> yep, right? Everywhere. So I don't think I need to be in a relationship. You can love your classmates. Yep. Oh, you can love your classmates. Okay, I love my so, classmates. So for me, I won't say anymore because it's too so long. So. But I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna reply to what you said. You don't really have to reply to what I'm going to reply. But um, as we all know that logic sometimes doesn't go with love. Yes, yes. Yep. So you can't you can't align logic with love. So yeah. So love those people who give time to you and give time to those who love you. So yeah. this is it, guys. This is a wrap for today. Uh, and this is, this is Angelo Divine. And we are Andino! Bye guys! Thank you for viewing!